What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this one, we're gonna be talking about how to find long tail, easy, low competition keywords. Now, this is one of the most valuable skills you can have when you're going into building websites, making a YouTube video, or whatever it may be that you're creating a piece of content for and trying to rank on the internet. So it doesn't matter what platform or search engine you're trying to rank on, it's just a very valuable skill to have. So I wanted to make this video just to be kind of generic across the board, to give you a good idea of how to source these kind of keywords and some general practices that you can follow to find them every single time. Now, as you can understand, there's only so much I can do talking in front of the camera. But what I'd rather do is actually show you on the computer so we can take a look and go through step by step how you would find these kind of keywords. If you are excited to get into this video, make sure to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and we'll get straight onto the computer where I'll show you how to source those keywords. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first way I'm gonna show you is gonna be a manual way, and then we're gonna go through a way of using tools. Okay, so there's two different ways. If you're gonna do it manually, then the idea is you always need to be using modifiers, okay? So if you've got a keyword, one of the easiest ways to give you some ideas or whatever else is gonna be to use either Google's actual search box or YouTube search box, depending on what you're trying to rank. Now, the two common places that people are usually trying to rank content and find long tail keywords, it's gonna be YouTube or, or Google, yeah? Like if you're trying to rank a website. So the best way to source some long tail keywords is gonna be to type in whatever your niche is and then use a modifier or you can use an asterisk, okay? So for example, if we're trying to find content like for affiliate marketing, so I'm trying to find like content for affiliate marketing. So if I was gonna type affiliate marketing, that alone is gonna be very high competition. But if I were to use, just say for example, a modifier, which could be the word for, so now this is gonna give me a bunch of different words. But what you wanna do is when you come down and find something long tail, is you wanna come down to it and then hit space, yeah, each time. So when you come away, you click space like that and you see if anything comes up. So that's the only one that's coming up for this particular thing. But if we were to go back, could say affiliate marketing for beginners and then space, and we see what happens there. And then look, for beginners, Facebook, for beginners, ClickBank, for beginners, tutorial in Nepal. So that's very niche specific. But if we were to put an asterisk at the front here, now that will give us some different keywords. So now we've got this, we've got Amazon affiliate marketing for beginners, how to start affiliate marketing for beginners, which is gonna be still of high competition. We've got easy affiliate marketing for beginners, Amazon affiliate marketing for beginners. So if we click that, that one's probably like a low competition one. When you're manually doing it, the one tool that you do need to use is something like vidIQ if you're coming on YouTube, because what you're gonna do is you're gonna look at who are up there. So this gives you a few different bits of information because you've got the number one video here that shows you they posted it seven months ago and all he's accumulated in that time at a number one position is 30,000 views. I mean, it doesn't really matter that much how much views he's accumulated at the moment because it's a ranking video and it has search traffic. So that's gonna keep going up and up every single day. However, you can see like an estimate of what you can expect over a period of time. Now, what you don't want to see is if my channel, for example, has 3,000 subscribers, you don't wanna see like, these big channels up here like 180,000, 400,000, all of that. If you can see just these channels up here, then you know you're not going to squeeze in. There's no way. You know, you're not going to come up here and they're bang on topic. So that's something that we wouldn't be able to go for. So I made an assumption there, which you should never do really when you're trying to source keywords. So say for example, affiliate marketing in Pakistan. Yeah, so this might be of lower competition because it's very specific to Pakistan. So we've still got high authority channels here, but you can see here there's like a lower authority just there as well. But if we were to do a space, so let's have a look at this. If it even has search traffic, so this has still traffic and then you've got this low authority at number one and then there's like kind of medium to high authority sites coming up about medium authority I'd say because they're only like 80k and stuff like that so what you want to do is use modifiers so how to do affiliate marketing is the main keyword for beginners or with okay so something like like a kind of verb so if we come down with click funnels without an audience without a following without a website in 2020, you know, so that might be of a lower authority there. So we've got, look, you know, he's not very big channel, quite small. 
and then we've got another low authority channel there and then this one's kind of like medium and then down here you know he's bang on topic but he's not ranking not sure why and then we've got some big larger authority channels here and some low authorities here so this might be something that you can go for and usually if you see something like 80 or above probably a good thing a good one to go for so I'm actually going to take that keyword and use that later and I store all of these in a list in Evernote top channels for this term are quite big so you can see these are the biggest ones in the in the results altogether it's showing you Franklin Hatchet being at the top but 80 or above is very good because probably they're not bang on topic of what they're doing so yeah I mean that he's still talking about the same topic but it's not exactly in the eyes of the search engine bang on exactly hey, it's Robbie here. What so if we were to do the same thing over on Google say for example we're looking for best films on Netflix as I was doing last night what you could do is again use a modifier so in UK right now look rotten tomatoes I don't know what that's about so these are modifiers and whatever's in here is probably something that's being searched that's why it's being suggested to you so best horror films in 2020 and then as we come along and there are tools that you can use like Sur surfer seo's extension tool for google to show you the amount of traffic that these domains are getting if you see something with you know a very low amount of traffic which is something below like maybe 20,000 visitors per month then it's probably something you can go for if you see a bunch of sites like that and you can use also the moz bar that gives you like the actual authority based on Moz's metrics which looks something like this so you can see that this one's like an 89 88 86 so on and so forth and that gives you the authority of these sites and you've you got the word count there from surfer and how many times they've used the exact keyword which is not really relevant at this stage you just want to see that there are low authority sites showing up this is like a manual way and the way you can do this is by using your keyword and then modifiers or you can use the alphabetical suit method so this applies to YouTube or Google so say for example example we're trying to do how to bake a cake well if we were doing that what we could do is we'll go a and then go through all the keywords when you come down you you would do the space space back space back and see what pops up okay how to bake a cake and ingredients how to bake a cake from scratch so you could do a b and then a c accessory ad so how to make a cake add in put in mix so on and if you want to know how i'm getting that search volume is from that surfer seo extension again and you just keep going through and then you go to b then you do b a b b and you just keep going through until you find these keywords and each time you find a long tail press space on it and see if you get something even longer and this is going to be a long tail loan competition keyword not this specifically but this is how you find them so you just have to keep going through and if you want to use i mean these are free google extensions but these are the ways you can easily find them now one of the other ways that you can do this if you're using tools is by finding a low authority site and then reverse engineering them. So say for example, Baby Sleep Miracle Review, I know there's going to be like very low authority sites here, yeah? So say for example, this website here or this one. So this is low authority, DA20, 2000 searches per month. What I'm going to do is drum this into a tool and we're going to reverse engineer the tool to see what's going on okay i'm going to go to site explorer on this tool called ahrefs and we're going to put this website in there okay so we've got this here we're going to see the organic keywords that are showing up and you can also use this tool which is cheaper it's only about 13 dollars a month keysearch.co if you go to keysearch review on youtube you see me ranking near the top for that and then if we do organic keywords you can actually reverse engineer the website's entire domain keywords that they're showing up for and find the best keywords that they show up for and then obviously you pick out the long tail ones you already know the low competition because the site has a low authority okay and they don't really have a lot of backlinks and all that stuff and you can do the same on YouTube I'll show you exactly how to do that in just a moment but if we go to organic keywords for this domain here again we can see here that all of the top positions that they have like position seven so we can sort by position so you can see this one like snow stroller that's something you can go for it has a hundred searches per Per month we've got strollers for winter okay they're number three for that number four that's 20 searches so you know this is how you find you would sort and find the ones that have good volume and you can actually factor out the ones that don't have any good volume so you could do a minimum of 50 so all these will get taken out 
because they have below 50 searches per month. So you can see we're finding higher searches and then we sorted by position and then now we're finding that. And if we wanted to go even higher and we wanted to find only above 100 searches per month, we could also do that. Okay, and the same rules apply on the other tool and if you're doing this for YouTube. So I'll show you how to do that. And all these are our filters, okay? And you can see here, look at that. So we've got above 100, it's gonna come out. Yeah, it's just loading as you can see. And now we've got all above 100. So they're in number one for that snow stroller we've also got this keyword here which is another one and they're number nine for that pregnancy miracle review so that must be like a product or something like that and then that gets 200 searches a month on average and then we could do the same here so you can see uh, does pregnancy miracle really work so that's like some other program maybe or sleep miracle i'm not sure and then we can see all those keywords and if we sort by positions which we are sorted already we'll be able to find the ones that they're highest ranking for and now if we were to go over to youtube on the tool you could do the exact same thing baby sleep miracle and then you would find all the long tail keywords um, by filtering them. So if we do this all related keywords, this tool is gonna come out with a bunch of different keywords that are related to the term you've just punched in. When we come in here, you could sort it by, you want the keywords to have the word how in it. So they must all have how or they must all have best, you know, or review or whatever it may be. Then you set the minimum search traffic again. So we only want keywords that are 50 searches or above and we want it to have at least five words or more. So this is where it becomes long tail. So all of, if it has five words or more, they're all gonna be long tail keywords. So you can see it's shortened that down to just 17 searches. You can sort by search volume and you've now got a bunch of different long tail keywords. If you wanted to do that on this tool, you would basically come in and then you would do word count and you would set it to five or more words and it will pluck out the exact same keywords that we had before. So we're now narrowing down on my plan. You don't get to see all those, unfortunately, with Ahrefs. But what we got is single strollers that convert to double 100 searches per month. They're in position 11. It's a low authority site. And obviously, you've got a long tail keyword there. That's another one and that's another one as well. Now with this tool, obviously this one's a lot cheaper so you get access to all of the information. And if we go to the keyword research tool, so this is if we're using it back on Google to rank again, we could do baby sleep miracle review. And then when we do that, we're gonna get all of the related terms. This is for Google now we're ranking. And then we would do like 100 searches or above and then maybe six words or more and it's gonna shorten that to just 22 keywords. So now when we sort by search volume, you can see that we've got these long tail keywords. Now these are not all gonna be of a low competition. You have to manually check them and then pluck out the ones that are of lower competition. Now, when you do find a low competition keyword, say for example, like this kind of thing, basically what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you see a lot of low authority sites up in the top. So ones with a low DA in the green, you wanna see a lot of green on here. Now, if you see a lot of green here, you wanna copy that. And then what you wanna do is go to competitive analysis, organic keywords, and then you can reverse engineer that website. So if that website has a bunch of different keywords that it's ranking for, you can reverse engineer the entire domain and pluck out all of their best keywords. Why? Because it's a low authority site that has a bunch of keywords they're showing up for. So you can see all these keywords here, 140 searches a month, Nugen review. So that product you can probably go out and do a review on and potentially outrank them. And then we've got all of these. Now, if you wanted to do a manual method on YouTube and find like these kind of reverse engineer competitor uh, channels, what you would do is you would find these low authority sites and identify them with VIQ. So say for example, we do key search review, which I was telling you to search. We're gonna find a bunch of low authority channels. So if we come on here, we can see that this is low authority, that's low authority, that's low authority that's low authority. What we would do for a channel of my size is I would basically come onto their channel, go to videos and sort by most popular. Now, when I do this, I'm trying to look for topics that performed well on their channel. If I see it only has a few hundred views, sorry, then maybe that's not good. But I mean, this one here looks very good. So you can see Canva Pro Review 2020. So that's probably gonna be an easy keyword to outrank. Okay, so Canva View, Canva Review Pro. And then we've got, look, this one is like a kind of medium authority. That's a high authority, but there's these low authority channels here. And this leads me to more. So this topic I'd go for, you can see it's an 81 on here, which is very good again. So that's a very good keyword. I'll probably take that as well. Okay, and then we can obviously go through here and then we can find more low authority YouTube channels. Click videos, sort by most popular. 
And then now I've got another topic again. Now you always want to make sure it's within the last two years. Why? Because anything beyond that could have just accumulated views purely because of how old it is. So if it's within the last two years and it's outperforming the average amount of views the channel gets, then it's probably a good topic to write about if it's relevant, sorry, or to make a video about if it's relevant to your kind of channel and topic that your channel's about. So hopefully that should give you a complete breakdown of exactly how to manually find or how to technically find low competition keywords, whether you're doing it for YouTube or you're doing it for Google, it doesn't matter. The same rules apply and you use tools to just amplify the data that you find and give you clear indications or help you to make a better decision on whether you should target a particular keyword. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button to get this spread out by the YouTube algorithm. I absolutely love that. And if you are new, you may wanna consider subscribing. I always do regular videos like this, tons of information, tons of testing that I share just for you. Okay, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.